Hey guys, so today I'm trying out the Salon Dip Professional Dipping System by KISS. After our last live stream, I got some comments about things that we could do at home, um, especially to save money and learn how to do them ourselves. Now, I found mine at Walmart for $11.97. And I did see some comments uh, where you guys said that the dollar store had them for 8 or $9.00. The thing was, when I went, there were only 20 tips instead of 40. So I went ahead and paid the $11.97 and got the 40 tips. And I usually go get my nails done at the salon, and I go every two weeks, and she does the Kiara Sky Dipping Powder, which I really like. But I've noticed after that first week, you know, one's already chipping or I've destroyed a couple. I'm really hard on my hands. I work with my hands. I have to wash my hands often, just my daily life. And, you know, with summer and now it's fall and Christmas and trees and, you know. So I would like to be able to touch up my own nails or kind of give them a little facelift halfway through. And if we get good at this, then we can do this at home ourselves and save us some money. So I used the regular tips and painted them. And I did the gradient effect. And I was actually surprised that doing my non-dominant hand was actually easier than I thought that it was going to be. And that worked out perfect because my sister wanted the French tips. And she agreed to be my guinea pig and film this for you guys. So we, I don't have an e-file or a drill or anything like that. I'm hoping to get one. So, yes, now please remember that we are not professionals. We are two girls that have no idea what we're doing. We've never done anything like this at home. We've never wore the long, you know, lasting nails at home or anything. Maybe like the press on nails for one day for a wedding or something. But we have no idea what we're doing. Now, I actually watched a couple of YouTube videos. She did not, but I think together we actually did. It turned out pretty good. So, yeah, let's review this. So, in the Salon Dip Perfect, you get um, 20 regular tips and then 20 French tips. And then you get your brush on gel to glue the nails on with, and also as your glue for the powder. And you get a bottle of activator that goes on after you get your nails done. And then again, after you file them and buff them and everything. You get the dipping powder. And this is clear. You get the little sponge to wipe off the powder from each nail after. You get this emery board. And you get two clean brushes to trade out for your uh, glue brush. And then you get the dipping tray. And you also get a teeny tiny short um, wood stick, but I threw theirs away because I have a whole pack of the long ones, but they give you a short one with this kit. A couple things that you don't get that I think that you should have on hand. Um, you're going to need some clippers to trim your nails the length that you want. You can use regular clippers. I just have these. You're going to need a cuticle stick of some sort because you're going to want to push your cuticles back and clean around that area especially if you don't have the little e-file to buff around there. And definitely some cuticle oil to put on after to keep your cuticles moisturized and soft and healthy. Okay, so I have pushed back her cuticles. I've buffed around that area, cleaned it up, tried to remove as much of the dead cuticle as I can. And now I'm just taking an alcohol swab and removing her natural oils. You could use a primer or your own dehydrator, but I don't have that, so I'm using alcohol. Okay, so I started with the brush on gel to apply her tips, and that worked fine for me, and none of the nails were too big or anything. And she is my older sister, but she has really small, narrow nails that kind of round on top. And I had to file the sides of all the nails to make them small enough for her. Even the pinky was too big for her pinky. I could have used it for her forefinger or something. So I went and just used my nail glue to apply her tips. 
If you have small nails, maybe look for um, petite sizes or get an extra pack of inexpensive tips so you'll have more smaller sizes. But we did it. We ended up making it work. And if my niece, her daughter, wants hers done, I'll definitely have to pick up an extra set of tips. But we did find nail tips for all of her fingers. And so once I apply the tips, I'm just filing the sides where the nail and the tip have that union to make sure that it's smooth and seamless and flat. And we're going to cut her nails now. Some people cut, but they don't um, shape and file. They dip them first. But since I don't have an e-file, it just seemed easier for us to go ahead and trim them and shape them and file them down as much as possible. That way we're not trying to manually file through the layers and the thickness of the powder. So we're going to go ahead and trim them. And I am using a little emery board for the top and the sides because, like I said, she has small little nails. And I'll use the big one that came with the kit later for the ends and for buffing and things like that. And now we're using the gel brush and we're just making a horizontal line on the seam where her natural nail meets the tip and we're just dipping that first. And then we're going to use the little sponge that comes in this kit and wipe away the dust. I didn't go too super hard, but I also brought in a makeup brush as well, a little angled brush. Then we're going to use that gel and I'm going to take a very thin layer and we're going to paint the nail three-fourths of the way down and we're going to just dip that. I know some people just start with the three-fourths and then the full nail twice, but I wanted to do the seam and then three-fourths of the way and then the full just to kind of give her a little bit more of an apex because she does have such little nails, you know. And I don't like it when it looks too thick right from the cuticle down. So that's what I did. And I'm trying to go very carefully around the sides of the nail. I don't want there to be like any holes or jagged edges on the sides if I can help it. I've seen that. It's happened to me. And I'm trying to be very aware of that. And I'm wiping off after I do the nail before I put it back into the bottle so I don't get powder into the bottle. And I do want to stress that it needs to be a very thin layer or it'll get gummy and lumpy and bumpy. So, And this time I am taking the angled uh, makeup brush and wiping them off just because the sponge is a little harder than I really wanted to have rubbing on my newly, you know, powdered nails, so. And then this time we are going all the way to the cuticle. Um, we're just leaving a small little hairline um, from the cuticle, doing the whole nail and then dipping. And if I got any on the skin on the sides accidentally, I took the little orange stick and just, you know, went around the edges, so. And I do this twice. So I did the line where the seam meets once, three-fourths of the nail, and then two full dips. And now I'm dusting off using that angled brush that I have and applying the activator generously to all of the nails. And if I got any of the activator on the skin, just like the gel glue, I would just use the uh, orange stick and wipe it off. After the activator dries, this is the time to buff and shape and file the nails, look for any bumps or imperfections, and make it seamless. I showed you a clip here, but edited most of it out because it took a long time to get it the way we wanted. Once you're done with that, apply another layer of activator and remove the excess with a dry, lint-free cloth. After you apply the activator and wipe off the excess, I'm using the gel again, the gel glue, and applying a layer of that and letting that dry. It didn't take too long to dry. I let it go like 10 minutes though, just in case. 
after the gel brush top coat dries, then you put your clear coat top coat on. I used the Sally Hansen Dries Quickly Top Coat and let that dry. So after that top coat dried, I used a little cuticle oil on her fingers and they are done. For two people who have no experience with this, I think they turned out really nice. I would recommend this because for us it was easy, the instructions were easy to follow, and I did both of our nails, and I have enough powder to do both of our fills in two weeks. I don't know about the gel and stuff, but for 11 bucks and what would have been a $60, where I live, it's $30 to get your nails you know, dipped and stuff, so definitely would recommend this. Yeah, I like it. Turned out pretty good. Thank you to my beautiful sister for <laughs> letting me try this out on you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.